hope everybody had a good weekend pulled out a load did a few local runs today another local run tomorrow looks like it's actually getting a little busy as uh past few weeks actually have been pretty slow last week was not too bad but i don't know what's going on guys but container industry is going down but we parked and we hear a leaking brake chamber gotta fix the stud right here it got loose so i had to take the fender off gotta get a new bolt for that but got a leaky brake chamber and guys they're very easy to replace the diaphragms as they only cost like eight bucks and you can see this is a newer brake chamber because it does not have the clamp on the heavy strong spring that usually actually could kill you uh it only has the clamp on this side so you, you release the brakes and you don't you could actually just cage it you won't have to cage it as much if you release the brakes but the cage bolts are always right here on the bottom stored away you put it inside you lock it tighten the nut up and that should hold the spring well enough for you to remove this clamp right here and that way you know you could just replace the diaphragm pretty easily well we got our trailer brake holding it we're just going to release the tractor brakes that air will help hold the spring as well so you don't have to cage it all the way this is what the cage bolt looks like basically you just put it in and you twist to 90 degrees make sure it's locked in put on your nut your washer and your nut and just tighten it down as much as you can All we got over here is just a 14 mil on our Makita. We're just gonna remove this clamp right here. Well guys, as soon as you got it caged, got the nut tightened up and remove this clamp, you have this diaphragm. It's a piece of rubber, it looks like a hat or whatever that sits inside there like that. But this is not what was leaking on mine. It actually looks pretty, pretty good, no cracks no tears or nothing so the leak is in the emergency side so i'm gonna see if they could just sell me just the piggyback side so i don't have to you know change the whole brake chamber and cut my bolt sometimes these two bolts right here are not that easy to remove i know lots of guys they just change just this side right here so let's go over to kenworth and see what they got went over to commercial brake and clutch right in five they got all your brakes and clutches and whatever and Picked up a piggyback, type 3030, 2.5 inch stroke. Guys, 49 bucks is what, 47 actually. $47 for a piggyback compared to Kenworth. About 90, almost 100 bucks over at Kenworth. So that's why uh, you shop around. Places like this will be a lot cheaper all the time because he even said that Kenworth comes and picks up uh, brake chambers from them from time to time. So save some money go over to commercial brake and clutch if you want to they're all the same basically it's just a brake chamber no need to overpay at a dealer or a dealership but yeah let's go over and put it on all right got the clamp off the new piggyback it does come with a new um, diaphragm you just put that back on here and you just do it in reverse put it on put the two hoses back on and just adjust your brakes that's all to it nothing much another thing i'll add before putting it on guys you see how this is sticking out right here back off your brakes so this is not pushing it back as hard so that way it's going to be a lot easier putting on that clamp so just back off your slack adjusters And in case your diaphragm ever does leak, I thought I'd show you guys that on your service side, you put a uh, dime inside here. I don't think a penny will fit, but a dime fits perfect. And it was actually, did save me a few times before I was able to buy a new brake chamber, 
that way you know you could stop it from leaking by just putting a dime inside there and put the hose back on some people use a vice clamp somewhere here you know that works too but i like the dime method good well he came in the wrong time just when i'm about to finish up so anyways guys and that's it guys we're pretty much done all we got to do is back off the nut but of course it's easier to back off that nut if you release the brakes the air brakes inside that way the air helps you that way you just got to back it off a little bit and that's it guys hopefully you like comment subscribe guys show you guys what else is going on